I guess I just want her to tell me I'm such a good girl. And that she's proud of me. I was standing in the middle of the door, like, uh, my god, I'm forgetting everything in English. It is the second day that I have moved to the new house. Well, it's still pretty much messy. My protein shake is still there. I haven't uh, like had it for two, three days. I've been eating like shit. I'm sorry to say that, but it's just uh, a lot of cans and because you know uh, i still don't have gas i still don't have my stove it's not here yet i've ordered it like uh, nearly a week ago but i have no idea why it's not here yet actually when i checked my trend y'all it says that it has to be here today or maybe tomorrow i don't know but um let's say that i've done some stuff um i've cleaned the bathroom as you can see like it's pretty clean and tidy as you can see yeah and uh also i have finished up the bedroom for now there is no curtain but uh there will be like on friday today i ordered one and it was actually a mess if i tell you the story you're gonna laugh your head off Well, this was the curtain that I had from my first house uh, in Istanbul. I had ordered it for the studio. But the thing is, I hadn't checked this part. So I didn't know that I didn't need to... What was the name? I have no idea what, what we call it in English. But I didn't know that I had some of these. Look, I mean, it's like a secret for Christ's sake. I went there and I bought them. I don't know how much I spent. I even paid some money for the glue thingy. But it's okay. I mean, it happens. I have not done this before. Um, I mean, a lot of th things that I told you before, unknown things are happening around me. Unknown things are expected from me, like talking to the guy from the gas company, of the water company, electricity, um, the counter and everything. A lot of things are happening that uh, back home, my mom and dad used to take care of it. So it takes some time for me to get used to the new environment. Also, the previous house... I remember that the things, most of the things, the landlord and the landlady, they were so uh, kind. They did it for me. But it doesn't mean that, um, you know, things are going to take care of themselves forever. I had to, at some point, learn these things. So I'm happy I learned a lot about curtains. As you can see, I ordered mine for all of the windows. Yay! Exactly when we were talking... The guy came and brought my stove. I cannot be happier. Yoo-hoo. I guess we're all set for tomorrow. I don't know how well you can see, but I think we're all set for tomorrow when uh, they will come from Ekdash, which is the gas company. I hope I'm pronouncing their name correctly. But yeah, we're all set even for gas. I was so, so stressed about this. I'm so happy right now. Also, on the other side, I also ordered a bed and also like a big drawer for myself. They will come next week on Monday, which I will be at school. I'm a little bit stressed about it, but I was like, okay, uh, when it goes to the cargo, I will ask a friend uh, or an acquaintance to make a phone call for me and tell them that I will not be home in the morning. I will be at school so that they come in the evening. So, uh, yeah, there are a lot of things that can bring up stress for me. But I'm like, all of them have got solutions. So I'm just trying to relax right now and focus on the things that I can do, that I have done. And uh, all the success, you know. It's definitely a success story <laughs> moving in less than... 
two weeks, I guess. Yeah, in 10 days, I just moved to another side of Istanbul, a new house, like a new neighborhood, new everything. Now that I'm thinking, I uh, have spent a lot of great months here in this house. Um, this part of the video that I am posting, I am posting it in February. I've already lived in this house for um, five months or something, or even more than that. And I have loved every single moment of it. I have cried here, I have uh, cooked, um, had lots of roommates coming and going. I, and I already live uh, with another Iranian girl right now. Um, I have improved a lot in Turkey. Right now that I am talking, I have had some issues with my wor work permit at the school, with my paperwork and everything. But um, as I am looking um, at this video, I feel like um, it's all worth it. At that time, I wanted change um, very much and I got my change. With each and every change comes the risks, the consequences that we have to accept. And at this point, um, when I see the difficulties with my paperwork and my work permit and everything, all I'm telling myself is that uh, it's okay, Sarvi. You made the best decision that could have been made in that time when you were moving to this school. And uh, you're always the kind of person that tries to find a solution for problems. So you will find that, I'm sure. And you will feel safe again. Okay, it's... It's 11. Oh my God, look at my hair. <laughs> it's... Uh, 11, nearly 11 a.m. And uh, yeah, this is the day after I got my cooker. And uh, they are coming from the gas company to check uh, the gas and everything. It seems like the whole process is sort of done. Uh, I ordered curtains. I ordered a bed, as I told you before. Everything is, I mean, all the pieces of the puzzle are coming together, but I think I had a nervous breakdown in the morning. It was nothing serious. I just went out, um, bought something for breakfast and uh, bought some chicken, some meats, because I knew that today I will be able to cook again. I've been eating a lot of shit recently, but then I texted my mom because last night when this guy had come, in Turkey, they call them tesisatçi, somebody that takes care of, you know, uh, the gas and like, uh, you know, sets it up and everything for my uh, cooker. So he came and I was standing in the middle of the door, like, uh, my God, I'm forgetting everything in English. I'm a little bit emotional, sorry. Let me find my words. So I was standing uh, right in front of the door because uh, I didn't feel safe inside the house. It was just me. And I was thinking, am I able to take care of myself? Did my mom teach me how to take care of myself um, in this situation? And like in the morning, I was texting her and I was telling this to her. And then I had this emotional, uh, I guess, breakdown, or maybe I'm just chesting off. I feel, I already feel better talking about it to her. I guess I just want her to tell me I'm such a good girl. And that she's proud of me. Sometimes, you know, in life, um, when you take care of something, when uh, you make it, um after a lot of challenges, you just want your mommy to tell you that she's proud of you and you're a good girl. I guess that's what I wanted. Partnerish, yarish, tasmin ve çöpeyi de girin. 
دانشجوی که رشتش رو دوست نداره ولی نمیتونه پس Okay, one of my biggest concerns was not to have a smart board and now I'm so happy. You know, the first thing I did when I entered the school was thinking about the smart board because... <laughs> Sarışın.